The Indian rupee hit a record low last week, reaching 70 against the dollar for the first time, after falling nearly 10% so far this year. Some of last week's fall can be blamed on contagion from the Turkish lira, which has hit emerging market currencies hard. But trouble in Turkey is only part of the story for India, which has its own considerable economic weaknesses. The world's emerging market currencies are all facing tough times. Rising interest rates in the US, the threat of a trade war, and the rise of protectionism are all cause for concern. But the plunge in the Turkish lira in the wake of its spat with the US has prompted investors to reassess all emerging market risks. India appears to be especially vulnerable, given the weaknesses of its own economy, despite apparently experiencing rapid growth. India's large import bill is exacerbating the country's current account deficit. Broadly speaking, that's the difference between national savings and domestic investment. To help plug the trade deficit, India needs capital. But rather than putting money into India, investors are pulling out. Oil is the biggest culprit in that yawning trade deficit, as one analyst put it, high oil prices are the kiss of death for the Indian economy. India's economic growth has also relied heavily on high government spending, contributing to a large fiscal deficit, which is also undermining the currency. Prime Minister Narendra Modi used to claim that a strong rupee reflects India's status as a world power. Government economists claim a falling currency isn't a concern, but with less than a year to go until the election, Modi will be hoping that last week's dip to 70 is as low as the rupee goes.